Hi everyone. Welcome to this series. I am Salim Sen Sheikh, Senior Big Data and Cloud Consultant here at Clarix. This is the first part of exploring cloud and data platform public cloud and in this video we are going to explore data hub and cloud and data warehouse data services. Cloud and data platform CDP Public Cloud is an integrated analytics and data management platform deployed on cloud services. This is the CDP homepage. Let's move on to Cloud Drama Management Console. Now let's begin with starting our CDP environment. As you can see, we already registered a CDP environment on AWS and I'm going to start this now. This will take about 30-40 minutes to start. As you can see on the screen that our environment is ready and it has also deployed a data lake cluster. Each CDP environment automatically deploys a data lake cluster. But what is a data lake cluster? A data lake cluster uses Apache Knox to provide a protected gateway for accessing the data lake component UIs and other on-demand CDP workload component UIs such as data hub clusters, data services. Now our CDP environment and data lake is ready Let's look at the Data Hub cluster. What is a Data Hub cluster? All Data Hub clusters are traditional workload clusters that are created for running specific workloads such as data engineering or data analytics. Each Data Hub cluster is created within an existing environment and is attached to a data lake, which provides the security and governance layer. Before you create a data lake cluster, make sure to provide your user necessary permissions at the environment level and ID broker mapping. As you can see on the screen, we have already created a, and started a data hub cluster using the template flow management like duty for AWS for our NiFi cluster. Let's open NiFi UI. As you can see on the screen that we have already built a NiFi flow for this demo, which we imported from my NiFi registry. Let me give you a quick overview of the flow. Basically, this flow will download Bitcoin cryptocurrency order book data using REST API, and it will do some cleansing and transformation of the data before ingesting into the Hive table at the put Hive 3 streaming processor. Now our NiFi cluster is ready. NiFi flow is ready. Let's activate CDW service to be able to create Hive table and access it via SQL query editor. Now let's go to data warehouse data service. What is Cloudera data warehouse, AKA CDW? CDW is a data service in CDP, which provides the query engine layer for Hive Impala queries via virtual warehouses and data exploration via data analytics studio and you. It also provides a powerful real-time data visualization tool called DataWiz. CTW connects with Data Lake by default to fetch your Hive database and tables stored. Now quickly activate CTW, which will take approximately 30 minutes to spin up. As you can see on the screen, when we activated the CTW environment, a default database catalog is created and named after our environment. This HMS instance associated with the default database catalog is the same HMS as the one used by our CDP environment. Now let's start a virtual Hive warehouse, which may take around five to 10 minutes. As you can see on the screen, our virtual warehouse is ready. Let me open you and show you the Hive transaction table into which we are going to ingest data. This is the order book data table. Now let's start our NIFI flow to start ingesting data. Our flow started and it should start ingesting data. Let me run a query in Hue to show data in our table. Fantastic. We have successfully ingested data in our table, but we are not going to stop here. We also would like to create a real-time dashboard on this table using DataWiz. 
Dataviz, also known as Cloud Drive Data Visualization, is a tool that augments data exploration and analytics to share insights more effectively across the business by creating dashboards and reports. Dataviz is part of CTW and connect with our virtual warehouse. Let's create a Dataviz instance, which may take few minutes. Dataviz is ready. As a next step, let's make a connection with our virtual warehouse. And for that, I will click on Data tab here. Click on New Connection. Fill in the details quickly and connect. Uh, great, it has created a connection with our virtual warehouse. Now the connection is ready. I'm going to import a dashboard template that we have created for this demo. For importing dashboard, let's click on these three dots. Visual artifacts. Select the file, keep it public and import. Let's also click on accept and import. Now let's go to home page and here we can see the dashboard template I have just imported. The dashboard template have few charts and now connecting with our table order underscore book and fetching the data in real time. Notice that these charts are refreshing every few seconds and showing real time data. Congratulations, we have successfully ingested data into our hive table and created a charts dashboard to visualize the same data in real time. This was the first part and in the next video, we will explore the capability of Cloudera data flow. We hope you found the video useful. If you did, please hit the like button and share the video with your community and subscribe to our channel for future content. Thank you and stay safe. See you in the next video.